वेलकम बैक टू कैड कैम ट्यूटोरियल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिज़ाइन ए सिंपल मैजिशियन कैप और यू कैन से करटोला विद द हेल्प ऑफ सोफेसिंग कमांड हियर वी विल लर्न अबाउट सम सोफेसिंग कमांड आई होप यू लाइक इट सो लेट्स सी हाउ टू डू इन सॉलिड वर्क सी दिस इज़ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल कैप ऑलवेज वी कॉल्ड इट मजिशियन कैप करटोला सो लेट्स सी हाउ टू डू इन सॉलिड वर्क वी विल यूज सोफेसिंग कमांड्स Now here let's start to create a magician cap or say cartola. So let's start with right plane. A sketch. Now here we will make a simple sketch with the help of line and first make a center line. Exit. Choose your line. Exit. Now again, select here spline. Select this point, then this point, then this point. Exit. Again, choose the spline. Exit. Now this is the simple shape. Let's define it. Keep the length one hundred. Seventy millimeter. Seventy millimeter. Keep the same seventy millimeter. Sixty-one point three millimeter. Now it's time to define these points. Okay, choose fillet. Two millimeter corner radius. Select this corner. Yes. and select here also yes okay okay it's time to define this one now here uh, we will define some dimensions choose this center point of this circle and this one and uh, we will increase this length Twenty-eight point two millimeter. That's fine. And distance from here to origin point. Keep the height. Height we will say twenty-three millimeter. Okay. Let's adjust this one. That's fine. A smart dimension. and define this gap 3.6 mm okay now we will adjust manually because uh, there is no any such a select this point Now do one thing. Just drag it. Do not create any relation. Otherwise, uh, it will be over defined, and uh, you will feel some problems. Maybe here also it shows some problem. Select undo, undo. That's uh, our position is enough for this. No need to define anything more. here we will select tangent relation okay so that's enough enough for us select fully defined sketch calculate okay this is rough dimension we don't need to define we need only simple dimension so simply exit now this time we will choose here front plane A sketch normal let's agar choose center line 
draw a center line and let's keep the diameter 170 millimeter choose your line and we will draw the same sketch exit spline exit again choose a spline and here we will create exit now let's define this one eighty millimeter seventy seven point seven millimeter and this one I'll adjust according to my requirement manually it's not so big deal let's define the gap between these two sixteen point one five millimeter and the gap between these two uh, we will keep this one 17.4 millimeter this is rough dimension it's not calculated or anything it is just roughly created even you can take as whatever you like and uh, let's choose the last this one quite bigger we need 20 129 millimeter okay Uh, make it little curve here from upper side so it helps and uh, give perfect shape and uh, that's enough uh, on the corner choose two millimeter radius yes make it little bigger five five is quite bigger than the three millimeter okay okay now this okay that's fine this is the exact of our position so simply if you want to make fully defined sketch just click here fully defined sketch calculate now it will calculate it according to the current position and it will put the dimension and it will fully defined okay simply exit now we want to go to surface so how we will just right click on command manager choose here surface now see we created two geometry so let's choose here lifted boss base uh, we will select the first geometry so select this one end okay now again choose the second corner point see it looks choose and condition normal normal to profile now see here we selected normal to profile degree 0 1 and at the end point also keep normal to degree 0 degree normal to profile 0 degree 1 select the second sketch this also keep as it is so it will create a perfect shape comes down merge tangent faces that's it this is the what we want both the profile should be normal in both cases select here ok now let's try to mirror right uh, right click here go to appearance and find out uh, material Fa fabric choose cloth cotton beige gray cotton ok this is the what material they are going to use for the but we will better to use this one ok now let's try to mirror choose front plane go to his feature select mirror and here go to bodies unmerge result okay 
Oopsie. Now we we will mirror the half full half section. So again, select your right plane, mirror, and bodies to mirror. We need to select both the bodies because we didn't merge these bodies and merge result. Okay. Now that's it. See, our head is almost created. Go to surface. Now here we will choose knit command, knit surface. Select this one, this one, this one, this one. This all we want to merge entities. Keep merge entities. Okay. Now this is the merge. Now here you can see all the bodies are combined with the help of surface knit command. So this all become one body. Now it's easy for the thickness. allotment so uh, let let ch change the uh, face or color or face something here but before that uh, just choose your thickness select this body keep thickness 1 mm anything you like but it is mid one upper but uh, let choose bottom 1 mm thickness okay now see Now here we want to create one black strip. So how we will do it? Let's choose front plane, a sketch. Choose your line, and draw a line, a horizontal line. Make sure it is bigger than this both the ends. Make sure it is horizontal. And let's define the gap distance from origin point to fifty-seven millimeter. This is what I choose. You can do it anything. Go to feature. here you will find a split line now here we want projection choose your surfaces 1 2 3 now see this all we selected select here okay now we can change this color select this face and let's make it dark color okay see okay that's it so it looks nice and simple cartola if you will choose here shaded view so you can see so i hope you enjoyed this we created this cartola with the help of some small surfacing commands it is very useful commands in solid works i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works if you have any question just write down below i'll try to answer each and every question here thanks for watching